Good morning. Welcome back to Ministry Monday. This is Carlton Kuhn. Today I'm going to talk about money. I'm going to talk about financial problems. Most of the world hears about pastors and preachers who make huge salaries. The reality is that the majority of pastors struggle financially. At least they struggle financially at some point in their ministry. The reality uh, is that the majority of pastors in the organization that I am part of are actually bivocational. I have friends who are carpenters, barbers, uh, painters, counselors, bus drivers, school teachers, accountants, editors, etc. So my key focus today is to talk about the things that you can do to either correct financial problems that exist or preferably to stay out of the financial problems that do cause a bit of difficulty. The first thing is simple. Don't live beyond your means. Uh, know what's coming in, know what's going out, and uh, you can't spend money twice. The second thing is don't try to keep up with Brother Jones, Brother Smith, or Brother whoever. Measuring yourself by someone else's new car or boat will eventually get you in trouble. Our vehicles, we have one that has 240,000 miles on it. We have another one that has 140,000 miles. Um, there are times when we are making an extended trip that we rent a vehicle instead, but we can afford that more so than we can afford the monthly car payment as well as the insurance. So be comfortable in your vehicle that may have a quarter of a million miles on it rather than taking on another note that adds pressure. I know that there are some people who are high rollers. Don't be intimidated by them. It does not matter to Jesus and it doesn't matter to the people that you lead. As a matter of fact, elders taught us that we should live at a mean level of the people that we were leading, that we should drive a car that would be comparable with the average vehicle drive, driven by our folks. If you take care of doing things right early in your finances, it will likely make your life and ministry much easier down the road. The Third thing, budget. DaveRamsey.com has an entire array of material that can guide you on getting out of debt than staying out of debt. I have family members who have used this to great advantage. The fourth thing is this. Take advantage of every single resource available to save a bit of money. Uh, Ebates.com is something that I will be putting a link at the bottom of this simply because it came to mind. and. It is a benefit to me. I use Priceline and Hotwire. Actually, I wear some clothes that came from thrift stores, and I enjoy yard sales, and that's where some of my library has come from. Make sure, finally, that as a husband and wife, you are on the same team when it comes to managing your money. That means establishing a budget, working together, and then partnering for what initially will require daily accountability. There is nothing like trying to work with a minister friend or a minister acquaintance, someone who has seen me as a mentor, that I'm trying to guide them out of the process of the stresses because those stresses go with you to the pulpit. Those stresses go with you when you're dealing with people. Do your best to stay out of what is one of the most common stresses of ministry, and that is the financial pressure that we bring ourselves into and quite often the financial pressures that we put ourselves in. God bless. Have a great week. See you next Monday.